Hi everybody, it's Valerie with this week's Oracle card reading. And I liked the reading so much that came from our Seven Energies deck last week. So that's the one we're going to use again this week. Oracle of the Seven Energies. And the intention again is, it doesn't matter when you watch this video this week, whatever reading we have for these cards is going to be good for you. So you don't have to watch this on Monday. I know we all get busy with our lives and sometimes things don't always go as planned or as we want them to. But that's why it's really nice just to go with the flow and these are very helpful with that. Okay. I hope everybody's week was great last week. I know that was a really good message um, about relationships and harmony. Okay. All right. Let's see what we have today. Ooh, this is beautiful. Bearing fruit. That's funny. Last week was number 11. Today we have number 12. So let's see what this one has as a meaning today. So the key concepts for bearing fruit are birthing, the results of hard work, an idea or consistent thought manifesting into form, the relationship between the external world and the internal world of feelings and beliefs. If your life were a tree, what fruit would it bear? Envision the results of the efforts you put into achieving your dreams and desires in partnership with the divine. Can you see the way you think, feel, and believe reflected in the material world? There is always a correlation between what you see, what you expect to see, what you intend consciously, and what you project unconsciously. Everything is intrinsically connected. Magic flows through you from the unseen world into the world you perceive. Moving from the realm of non-ordinary reality to ordinary reality, you birth ideas and thoughts into form and bring your most cherished desires to fruition. Not all ideas will bear sweet fruit. Sometimes you will reap a sour and bitter harvest based on your sense of your personal narrative and your assumptions about others. You are in a powerful and fertile season of your life when you're particularly good at making things happen with very little effort. Pay close attention to what you're manifesting now. From your career to your personal relationships, your influence is strong at this time. If you don't like what your life is yielding, prune the proverbial tree and get into alignment with what generally, genuinely lights you up. Remember, you birth into the world that which you pay most attention to and consistently hold within as your truth. Be clear about what you intend. Can you make this commitment? When you're making an intention, you do need to be very clear because the universe will give you what you want as long as you're clear about what it is that you want. So have a great week with this. Let me know what this means to you. Just post that in Facebook. And this Reading our oracle cards is a way for us to get in touch with the divine, a way through our intuition. And if you are not familiar yet with how you connect with the divine through your intuition, I did a little video series you may have seen about the five ways that we connect. If you didn't see that or if you want a little booklet that explains the different ways we connect, you can get that by just going to freegiftfromvalerie.com free gift from valerie.com 
to see the five ways and to help you decide what's your best way to connect through your intuition with the divine. I will see you next week. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye.